Dubai just shocked the world again. This time, it's not another artificial island or a record-breaking mall, but the tallest hotel ever built, CL Tower, soaring 377 meters above Dubai Marina. The official story says it's all about luxury and ambition, with 1,004 rooms, the highest infinity pool on Earth, and jaw-dropping views over Palm Jumeirah. But behind the headlines is a high-stakes race for global prestige, one engineered to pull millions of tourists and redefine what a skyline can be. Why did Dubai risk so much to shatter this record? And what will it cost to stay on top of the world? The answer begins at the very foundation. Tourism planners in Dubai measure success in global headlines and visitor numbers, not just in meters and floors. Each new record draws a wave of travelers chasing the latest superlative. After the Burj Khalifa opened, luxury arrivals surged and hotel bookings across the city jumped by double digits. The Burj Al Arab's sail-shaped silhouette turned into an instant icon, its image splashed across travel magazines and social feeds worldwide. These landmarks didn't just fill rooms, they built Dubai's reputation as a place where the impossible becomes reality. The logic is simple, the higher the tower, the louder the global conversation. CL's 377-meter height isn't just an engineering feat. It's a magnet for attention from influencers, event organizers, and high-spending tourists. Dubai's Department of Tourism tracks every spike in bookings and revenue per available room after each new headline project. When the Gavora Hotel claimed the tallest title in 2018, luxury occupancy rates in Dubai Marina outpaced regional competitors for months. With CL, the city aims to repeat and surpass that effect on a global scale. Planners see these projects as investments in Dubai's future. Each new record raises the city's profile, draws in fresh capital, and keeps Dubai at the top of every traveler's wish list. To deliver on the promise of global prestige, they know the design must wow the world, not just with numbers, but with innovation that sets a new standard for luxury and experience. CL's 377-meter height isn't just a number, it's a statement in a global contest for skyline dominance. The first group, CL's developer, has spent years positioning this tower as the next headline in Dubai's string of world records. Their branding campaign leans into superlatives, from the highest infinity pool on Earth to the sweeping 360-degree views from the observation deck. Every detail, from the glass facade to the vertical gardens, is designed to feed the narrative. Dubai doesn't follow trends, it sets them. But the prestige race is far from local. Saudi Arabia has floated plans for hotel towers in Riyadh and Mecca, while Shanghai's luxury sector eyes taller, flashier projects. None have managed to break ground on an all-hotel building that can rival CL's planned Guinness World Record. The first group's spokespeople are quick to emphasize this point. CL is not just the tallest hotel in Dubai, but the tallest hotel-only tower anywhere, verified by Guinness upon opening. That distinction matters in a world where every meter means global headlines and social media virality. This pursuit of first place raises the bar for engineering and design. To secure Dubai's lead, the project team had to deliver not just height, but a new level of luxury and spectacle. The result is a tower that isn't just taller than its rivals, it's built to outshine them in every possible way. Shaping a tower to pierce the sky is one thing, shaping it to survive the wind is another. CL's designers faced a problem every super tall project in Dubai must confront, coastal winds that can whip across the marina at speeds topping 100 kilometers per hour. A simple box would act like a giant sail, inviting sway and discomfort on the upper floors. Noor's wind consultant spent two years running computational fluid dynamic simulations and wind tunnel tests, cycling through hundreds of models to find the answer. Their solution, a slender, tapered oval, doesn't just look elegant. It's a shield against nature's invisible forces. The curved form channels wind smoothly around the building, cutting down on turbulence and the dangerous phenomenon known as vortex shedding, which can set a tower oscillating. 
But the real breakthrough came with the so-called eye of the needle, a vertical aperture carved through the upper floors. This open portal acts as a pressure valve, letting wind pass through instead of slamming into the structure. The result is a dramatic reduction in peak wind pressures and lateral loads, allowing the building to stay remarkably stable even as storms sweep in from the gulf. Every angle, every curve, every open space was tested and retested. Hundreds of CFD models, dozens of scale wind tunnel runs, all leading to a final shape that's as much a product of physics as of architecture. What looks like a futuristic sculpture is, at its core, a machine for defeating the wind. That aerodynamic discipline set the stage for a structural system designed to handle the forces that remain. The real test for any super tall hotel isn't just how high it rises, but how its bones and skin hold together under pressure. CL's structure is a hybrid of brute strength and technical finesse. The backbone is a reinforced concrete core wrapped with a network of outrigger trusses and perimeter columns. Eight outrigger beams spaced at mechanical levels tie the core to the outer frame. This system spreads wind and gravity loads evenly, letting engineers use less concrete and steel, critical on a tight site where every ton counts. The result is a tower that's both lighter and stiffer than its rivals, with enough rigidity to keep guest floors steady even during a gulf storm. But the real showpiece is the facade. Instead of flat glass panels, CL uses cold bent glass, each pane gently curved on site to match the tower's oval profile. This is a first at this scale for a hotel, and it's not just about looks. The curved glass helps air slip around the building, reducing pressure and vibration. Engineers ran digital simulations to set the exact bend angle, then built full-scale prototypes to test for stress and movement under Dubai's wild temperature swings. Custom strain gauges tracked every panel as it was installed, confirming that tolerances stayed within a razor-thin margin. The payoff is a shimmering, seamless skin that's both aerodynamic and efficient, delivering panoramic views without sacrificing comfort or safety. Every decision, from the thickness of the post-tensioned slabs to the placement of the outrigger beams, was tested, measured, and refined. Digital monitoring systems are now embedded in the structure, feeding live data on vibration and stress back to the engineering team. For CL, structural innovation isn't just about breaking records. It's about building a hotel that feels as solid at the top as it does at street level. A week into the glass installation, everything stopped. Sensors embedded in the facade picked up abnormal vibrations on the upper floors, readings that spiked far above design limits. Safety teams ordered an immediate stand down, halting all work while engineers pored over live data feeds. The culprit, a rare wind pattern funneled through the marina, had set off micro oscillations across the cold bent glass panels. To prevent disaster, the team moved fast. Within days, specialized tuned mass dampers, giant mechanical counterweights, were craned into place at two setbacks above the 70th floor. These systems, calibrated in real time with sensor input, absorbed the excess movement and stabilized the structure. Only after a full battery of tests did work resume. The fix, born from digital monitoring and rapid engineering, kept the project on track and proved the value of CL's live structural health systems. Costs have climbed well beyond early projections. The final spend now stands at $544 million, up from an initial $485 million. Delays have pushed CL's opening to November 2025, as the developer weighed every line item against mounting commodity prices and pandemic-era supply shocks. Some of the tower's most ambitious green features, including advanced water recycling and full facade shading, were scaled back or postponed during budget reviews. This sparked debate over whether CL truly delivers on its eco-luxury promise or simply chases headlines. Investors point to strong projected returns and high occupancy rates, while IHG's brand managers frame the hotel as a showcase of operational efficiency and guest experience. Yet among local residents, concerns linger about increased traffic, higher rents, and the shadow cast by another super-tall icon. 
Standing at 377 meters and scheduled to open in November 2025, Ciel Tower will become the world's tallest hotel, a record confirmed by multiple industry sources and project documents. This achievement reflects Dubai's ongoing strategy to attract global tourism through architectural innovation, as seen in the city's previous headline projects. Engineering breakthroughs like the tower's aerodynamic shape and the first super-tall cold-bent glass facade were documented through years of wind tunnel testing and technical reports. However, the full environmental impact of CL remains difficult to verify, as operational sustainability data has not yet been released. The project's costs have risen from initial estimates of $485 million, and residents continue to raise concerns about local impacts. As CL prepares for its official opening, it stands as tangible evidence of Dubai's pursuit of prestige and technical excellence, while questions of long-term sustainability and community benefit remain open for future scrutiny.